Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 85 of My TV. Finally joined by Ralph. He keeps threatening to make an appearance, but here he finally is. He's also been groomed recently. As you can see, he's looking very snazzy. So I have just been, unfortunately Ralph wasn't allowed, but I was at the Youpreneur Summit at the weekend, just gone. Um, so Chris took his Youpreneur Summit, mentioned in a few in the other episodes. I was on his podcast and I was really lucky to be on an expert panel on stage, which I kind of love all this stuff anyway, so I was really hyped about it. But even better than that, I got to speak to so many business owners over the weekend. And it's just really good to understand and kind of um, brainstorm and talk to other business owners, solopreneurs, about the challenges they face, about how they're going to achieve, achieve the next steps, about, I think more importantly than ever now, <coughs> about how they're going to create the business that they want, because that's different for everyone. You know, some people want a thousand staff and some people just want it to be themselves and them having the work-life balance. So everybody's got different things. But I was talking to one um, guy in particular who is kind of just in the beginnings of starting his business. And he uh, like reached out to me just before the summit, say, oh, can we have a chat when, when you're there? And he wanted to understand like how I could help him achieve his 2019 goals so this includes starting his business he's kind of he's in employment at the moment he is doing some coaching at the moment and he's going to he, he wants to, to create that into an actual full-time business and he's like he's got certain goals that he wants to reach you know like turnover and number of customers and all these different kinds of stats in 2019 so we had a chat about what are the most important things to do I mean also if I was doing it from scratch because I would do so many things differently and obviously I know so much more um, and it involved this. It's my intro today. You will have seen this, I'm sure, the uh, faithful productivity pad, of which if you would like one, please just comment below wherever you're watching this. Send me a message, ring the office, we'll send one to you. So um, the reason why this is so important is because of time. So to be fair, where, any, where anybody spends any of their time will dictate the outcome of your life or your business. So that, that's just the same to, to anyone, somebody that's employed, to a student, to whatever you do with your time will dictate where you're gonna go and what the results you get. So the first thing, and I think I'd never had this mindset at all. I did not see the value of my time when I first started my business. It took me ages to understand this. It took me ages to understand that in the very beginning, answering my own call, which was what I was doing on my mobile, in fact, I had one of those like flip things, um, was absolutely ridiculous. And I did, I answered my own calls for the first couple of years. And now like I berate people that are answering their own calls. I'm like, I want you to see the light. So. We had loads of these productivity pads. And the really cool thing about them is, um, I mean, they're not, they're not apps, they're not technical wizardry. They are, you know, good old fashioned pen and paper, but it's about being absolutely clear where you are spending your time. So I believe in two things. I believe if you're not entirely sure what you're doing with your time, and believe me, most people aren't. So we, uh, we took on a customer last week who were starting to help with their emails because it would transpire that they would really, their workday would revolve around sitting in front of their emails. And anybody, I don't care what kind of business you're running, you're never going to do the really good stuff just reacting to emails that come in. So it's about having, because some people don't believe that they're responding to emails all day, which I think the majority of business owners are. So it's about first getting absolute clarity, not lying to yourself, actually knowing, okay, well, actually I didn't really do anything overly productive today. You know when you have those really busy days and it's like, oh my God, where's the time gone? But you can't actually pinpoint, oh, so what did you do? I, I did this, I, like I did, I achieved this, or I got this off my to-do list. It's those days where it kind of, well, I just sorted stuff out and I just, you know, was firefighting and I just reacted to things that came in or calls or emails. So this um, initially gets you some clarity and actually kind of lets you face up to what, where are you spending your time. And then number two, I think alongside this is having the clarity is really good and make that will help you to make better decisions. And number two, is treating your diary with like absolute protective gloves because having people having access to your time is completely uh, detrimental and it, it goes against everything that you will be trying to create. So as an example, we had um, a new inquiry the other week and the um, person rang up and said, can I speak to Emma? And they, I was actually on holiday at the time and they said, actually, no, she's not in at the moment 
can I um, take your details? And then our processes with new inquiries that we will send out an email, it has my calendar link, you can book straight into my calendar at a time that suits you and I've got availability. This guy was super adamant, he wanted my email address to contact me directly. It was a new inquiry, don't forget. Now, I'm all for being accessible, but there comes a time when for me, for somebody to just have my email, I then have I've, the responsibilities then on my shoulders, I've got to reply to the email. Whereas our process is super easy for everyone, a call gets booked in, and he was pretty annoyed that he didn't get my contact details. Now, I'm precious about my time, and I mean, have you ever spent those days where you're kind of ringing somebody back? Oh, it's a new inquiry rang, you've gone to voicemail, then they ring you back, then it's gone to your voicemail. All that, I mean, I don't do that anymore. I schedule calls in, and. Um, obviously they might get rescheduled, but if they, when they're in, they're in and they get done. So I know exactly who I have to ring and when, I know that I can plan around that. I don't just react to calls that are coming in. So the productivity pad, alongside being absolutely um, so protective over your time and diary, are the two main things that I kind of talked about with him, will set you in good stead to go forward. So if calls come in, you know, not reacting to them straight away, the emails, having chunked time just to go through them, um, you know, doing all the good stuff first thing in the morning, blocking time out so that you, if you have to like create a new marketing campaign or you're gonna contact 10 new people or you do all the good stuff in the morning. And for me, that is the key to everything. It's not, uh, it's not social media, it's not marketing, it's not all the other parts to businesses that are kind of, you know, miracle cures and quick fixes to growth. The, the thing where it all ravels back to is your time. How do you view it? How do you look at it? Do you let everybody in the outside world just kind of take bits of it when they want? Because if you do, you're never going to really get a control on it. And most importantly, you won't get the time to do the really high level tasks that push your business on. So that's a chat that we had and I hope it's helpful for you. Um, it, it's just really important to know where you're spending your time because without it, you won't achieve those goals in 2019, which is what we talked about. So I hope this gets your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. I will be doing an extra additional little video with just some coverage of the Upreneur Summit, kind of things we got up to, some learnings from it, because there's so many amazing speakers um, during the day. So I'm going to do an extra little video for that, which will be coming out soon. And um, apart from that, I will see you next week for episode 86. See you then. Bye-bye.